Hello, I am Ahmed Ashraf. I am with the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Manitoba, where I direct the Manitoba Learning and AI Research Lab. So work within my research group focuses on the development of deep learning and artificial intelligence architectures for the analysis of multi-source hybrid and spatio-temporal data originating in a variety of application domains, including, for instance, uh, biomedical imaging, brain connectivity studies, transportation networks, underwater computer vision for understanding marine ecological behavior, deep learning architectures for power systems, AI methods for the analysis of epigenomic sequential data, and deep learning methods for the analysis of satellite imaging, in particular from the perspective of analyzing the effect of climate change on northern infrastructure in Canada due to the melting permafrost. So these are some of the areas which the lab is currently focusing on. So I'm now going to go backstage and you will get to see some of the videos that the students have recorded in terms of a minute madness pitch of their current work. So over to the students so that you can hear directly from them because the, these students are actually doing real hard work. So I'm going backstage. Hello, I'm Mahube. I'm a student in Learn Lab in ECE department. In my research, I develop deep learning methods for data driven discovery of interpretable imaging phenotypes in 3D image volumes. Knowing about disease subtypes affects clinical decisions from choice of therapy to patient management. And uh, if the knowledge about the disease is partial, which means that the subtypes are not known yet. Supervised methods cannot be used uh, to classify um, disease subtypes. So unsupervised learning methods become even more essential. I've proposed that the phenotypes can be learned uh, through a latent space of learned 3D autoencoder. And I've also proposed methods for um, interpreting the phenotypes. As an example, I've used a CT scan modality, but uh, the methods can be generalized to any other 3D imaging modality. Thank you. Hi, my name is Najma Safar. I'm a student in the Manitoba Learning and AI Research Lab in the AEC department. My research is related to developing new planning methods for cost data set generalization. Even though recent advances in AI and deep learning have increased our capability to solve problems um, in a variety of domains, uh, but generalizing train model to a, to a different data set from the training set still remains a problem. So I take a different approach for, um, I take a different approach to cross data set generalization by learning a representation which suppress data set specific information while allowing classification. So the focus is going to be more on our variable of interest. Currently I work as a uh, I work in collaboration with the Asinopoint Conservancy Research Group. Um, I apply my methods to their data set in order to track and monitor uh, the biodiversity in, uh, in, in a marine ecosystem. Hi, I'm Dan Fayam. I'm a PhD student in machine learning at the University of Manitoba. Um, previously, I obtained a master's degree uh, in computer vision also from the same school. Um, I am part of the research group called uh, Manitoba Learning and AI uh, Research Lab. Um, I am also affiliated with the uh, Transportation uh, System Research Lab. So my uh, research focuses on the application of deep learning and reinforcement learning for a demand response to Um So I, I'm looking to solve a serious problem related to uh, missing traffic data, so routing in dynamics uh, transit network, um, uh, data reconstruction, combinatorial uh, optimization, and service charge station uh, uh, allocations. Um, so uh, to know more about me, uh, please visit my website at... I'm Tyre and a postdoc fellow at Minuto Learning and AI Research Lab. I develop AI-based algorithm for the analysis of epigenetic sequence data. Epigenetic involves the study of factors that determine the regulation of gene, role of the local cell environment, and when a gene will be expressed and when not. The particular problems 
I am working on deep with designing deep learning architecture for predicting gene expression based on histone modification. Developing AI-based methods will further improve our understanding of gene regulation and disease mechanism. My research work is supported by the Canada Japan Initiative for building AI method for epigenetics. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Feynman and I'm a PhD student at the University of Manitoba. My research problem is the detection of vesicular plaque in 3D optical coherence tomography images. Classical texture analysis features such as hydraulic texture features have been shown to be very helpful for OCT analysis. Because the images are in real time, speed is of critical importance and we introduce deep learning to obtain these hydraulic texture features. My work is a hybrid uh, between the deep learning and the classical image processing. Well, texture features are well validated. They are extremely slow to compute, and I'm building the neural network architectures for computing these hybrid texture features. I have started working with 2D images, but eventually the method will be used for 3D and 4D images volumes over time. Hello, I'm Sarah Mantash, a PhD candidate in the ECE department at U of M. My research focuses on developing deep learning algorithms for the classification of partial discharge sources that take place in high voltage systems. Whether it is supervised or unsupervised deep learning, my developed algorithms will help industries to train their classification models and systems with minimal human expertise needed for labeling their data sets. One of the main challenges in my work is the confusion of PD data with other interference pulses. A developed novel deep learning architecture based on CNN has been proved to be effective in the PD classification. To sum it up, the investigation of such deep learning algorithms and knowing their limitation is of much value for any developed model that is aimed to be used in online monitoring of high voltage systems. Hello everyone, I'm Shomik Farhan. I'm completing my Master's of Science under the supervision of Figli Neuroimaging Lab in BME and MLAR Lab in ECE. My research revolves around human brain connectivity, computational neuroscience, and deep learning. As you can know, human brain can be organized into different regions based on the anatomical structures and functional connectivity. Not all regions are connected to each other structurally or functionally. Accessing how the deviation in structural connectivity can affect various functional deficits and is critical to understanding the effect of structural connectivity on cognitive functions. As a part of my research, I am trying to develop a graph neural network to predict functional connectivity from structural connectivity. Later, I am trying to evaluate those AI based results using a novel benchmarking parameters. Thank you. My name is Andres Felipe Perez, and I'm a second year PhD student at the Manitoba Learning and AI Research Lab from the ECE department at the University of Manitoba. My research project lies at the intersection of deep learning and climate change. The main goal of my project is to develop innovative solutions to monitor the structural integrity of existing critical linear infrastructure, such as roads and railways, in Northern Canada, built on areas with prominent presence of permafrost. Using satellite data captured over multiple years, we aim at tracking the localization of such critical structures over time to estimate their displacement. Combined with other sources of information, such as geothermal, geophysical, and hydrological models, this information will serve to assess and project the effects of the gradient permafrost. The proposed research has a significant impact on the lives of northern communities by making them less vulnerable to the effects of climate change. All right, so this was a quick dash through some of the work that is going on in the lab and uh, I guess you get the general flavor, the general idea that the group is growing in a direction where we are focusing on the development of deep learning architectures uh, for a diverse set of applications. So I'm now going to acknowledge some of my collaborators. 
as you should be able to guess given the nature of the uh, projects that you have just seen glimpses of uh, that the nature of the work is quite interdisciplinary and as a consequence I have got collaborations going on with a number of uh, researchers in various fields so within the Price Faculty of Engineering I collaborate with faculty members uh, that come from electrical and computer engineering and civil and mechanical engineering Outside the Faculty of Engineering, I do collaborate with scientists in the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences and Cancer Care Manitoba. My pan-Canadian collaborations include work with scientists that are currently at the University Health Network Toronto and Montreal. And of course, my international collaborations include work with scientists from the University of Tokyo and the University of Leeds. So towards the end, I would also like to acknowledge some of my funding sources. Of course, the exciting projects that you just heard about, none of them would have been possible without the availability of generous funding from these sources. So some of the projects uh, in my lab are currently being supported through my NSERG Discovery Grant and also through the Canada-UK AI Initiative, the New Frontiers Research Fund, the Canada-Japan Initiative, for the development of epigenetic technologies, which is actually a joint venture between the uh, Japanese counterpart of CIHR and the CHR over here in Canada. And of course, my industrial collaborations are supported through my tax. So I'm going to stop now. And if you want to know more about the work going on over here, please visit the lab website.